had got one of my other farm helpers, Allie, with me. What are we doing, Allie? We're chasing cows. Are we chasing them or are they chasing us? They're chasing us. Let me give you a close up of these little apples on the tree. We just put her fungicide and insecticide on them. Uh, Donna came out and did some scouting yesterday and found a couple spots on them and we're gonna, we're gonna fight. <laughs> fight to do what we can. All right, we moved over into the peach trees. Kind of hard to call it an orchard, but it's really cool to see what was icicles. If you look back, a, a few frames you'll see that these trees were just a straight up icicle and let's look at one right here and see the health uh, look all the way around it there's no spots a little hole out of that leaf um, good morning it's a little later in the day i've got one of my farm helpers with me i've got ellie anna i call her l for short She's uh, helping Dad. We've been out feeding. We're going to go back and uh, feed the chickens, gather the eggs. That's for our personal use. And uh, we got the goats and the pigs separated right now, feeding those. And uh, So let's take a ride on the ranger. separating the goats from the pigs while they eat over here and there's old Cusco he's ready for his girlfriend and baby to come back over here with him we'll get him moved back in here before too long we also have some hens sitting uh, we think we might have a few that are brooding for some babies so we might have some baby chicks for the fall it's really exciting and I love living out on a farm. Ellie's gonna get the chicken eggs. And grab a little straw to give them some cushioning. She had to push those mamas off. <laughs> How many we get, L? Four. Too bloody, too good. Y'all must have got them last night. Did y'all get them yesterday afternoon? Yeah. We've been getting about 12, 14 eggs. Per day. All right, let's go put those up and we'll head back to the cows. All right, this is uh, Bill and Ellie out at Jackson Farm. We're uh, about to attempt to move the cows. These are 100% grass fed. They're going to lose a itsy bitsy piece today because we're going to use some heavy molasses feed that uh, hopefully they'll get a sniff of it and follow us all the way into the corral. coming we got ahead of them a little bit we better get this thing moving i said we're 100 percent grass fed well really we're 99.999 percent after today uh, we might go through five bags of feed in a year 
on right now we got about 80 head this is a perfect example of what we're trying to get here that's south pole mama cow right there this is the pony ride party area for the kids at jackson farm fall festival we've done some additions built us a little western town over there the pony rides in the shade that's one of our new ponies came from a pony wheel he walked right out here and right on the job he's ready to go that one little black heifer down there she's about two and a half years old she's blind in one eye we were going to take her to the sale and the, my cattleman said ah don't take her you won't get fifty dollars for her and she kind of got a I kind of got a soft spot in my heart for her now and I think she's probably bred I believe she'll do a good job taking care of the baby she has to work twice as hard to see where she goes sometimes seems like in life the people that have to work harder end up going farther and uh, we'll see she's not coming in here right now All right, me and El got them all but one in the corral. And I don't know, I wasn't videoing, but I was everything I had to push one in here. And she, I don't know, maybe she's got a calf back there somewhere. We'll go look and see. I hope that's what it is. All right, me and El, we're gonna ride back around and I see, make sure we didn't leave any newborn calves or anything and we got one mama that would not go in all i can think is that just maybe she's got a calf out here that she didn't want to leave because she was putting up quite the ruckus to not leave so let's just go see what we can find out all right we got her farm helper al this morning Allie. Allie Joy, she brought us a lot of joy at 5.38 when she woke up this morning. I guess she was excited about the day. Look at here, Al. So what we've been doing this morning? We've been um, getting cows and pens, and we're just going over to get a cow back to its baby. That's right. So what happened? We had one mom and one baby that didn't want to come, didn't we? Yeah. We did. So how are we going to get them back together? We're going to run her right back to her baby. We're going to be gentle though, right? Yeah. Be gentle. And uh, the veterinarians come in a little bit and our, our cow workers. And uh, we'll have some fun up here veterinarian. in the crowd. What's a veterinarian? Well, he's a cow doctor. And got to get her puppies too and get some shots for our puppies. Yes, you ready to roll? Yeah. This is a good time of the year for the cows and the calves. We had a beautiful sunrise a while ago. We missed that. But the objective today is to get these cows up here where we can check them out. Might need to get out and rattle this sack just a little bit. Oh yeah, come on girl. Woo! Al, what do you think? Is it going to work? Is it going to work? All right, here we go. They want some candy this morning. Oh, yeah. There's Mama. Caesar the bull. That's the daddy. Baldy Mama. All right, here's something we caught earlier this morning. See if this will work out. They're coming I think down. if I put a little feed in it, it will. All right. Donna came out and Izzy, that's, that's still part of the family. And we've got them a few rows of pumpkins, early pumpkins. And they're going to go planting. Izzy's got her painted suit on down there. I tell you what, good thing about living on a farm, you don't need shoes. And you just kind of go out as you are. And it's pretty cool. But that is the hardest farm right there, Donna. She is hard.
hard working lady. She's planting those pumpkins by hand. It'd be nice to have a big air seeder. But she plants them by hand and the girls help her. We'll come out and hoe them in the morning to pick them. Get a few teenagers to help. But I sure wanted you guys to see who the heart was for the farm. And well, the day's not over yet, but just going to share something that we see out here. Beautiful rainbow. Actually, there's sort of a double in there a little bit. Hey, this bill out on Jackson Farm. Earlier today, we worked the cows, and uh, Allie and I, y'all got to see us go out and have them chase us in to the crowd, and we went through and preg checked them and uh, separated out the ones that we wanted to take to the sale tomorrow and the ones that we're going to butcher for this fall. And we kept some mamas and pears and we got some South Pole that we're mixing in here, our bulls of South Pole, so our best looking heifers. And we kept, and we kept a group of steers for our uh, the fall festival next year and then the next year so we got three years worth of meat that we're raising it takes a little bit longer to grass feed a, a cow than it does uh, grain feed them so anyway we've already been out today and we've tilled a little place to put plant some pumpkins we want some early ones that we're going to cook pies with this fall and also i'm about to go in this field behind me this used to be a pumpkin patch but we're laying it out this uh, fall and uh, we're gonna plant purple hull peas which is a good soil builder and also we'll sell purple hull peas and cornbread as one of our meals this fall at the farm so looking forward to some good food that's gonna come straight from the farm straight to the table up there and uh, looking forward to having you guys